You remember this little pocket alcohol tester that I got in the mailbag about a month or so ago? Well, I think it is time to see if it works and how it works and what it does. And to test it, I'm going to need some alcohol that I can drink a little bit faster than a beer. So tonight I will be drinking for, for science, of course, uh, this uh, 1.7 fluid ounce bottle of official Newfoundland Screech rum. The things I'll do for a video. So I guess before we, uh, before I touch that, let's just get a baseline here and see what this thing says when I haven't been drinking. It takes two AAA batteries, not included, of course. The when it powers on, it's got a little clock in there. You can set it or just use the start stop button and use it as a timer. It has a little flashlight on the side of it. Don't know why, but it does. And then according to the instructions, you push and hold the power button for about 10 seconds until the light goes to the ready mode and then you blow into the end of it and it will give you an indication not the most granular of indications uh, 0 0.02 and 0 0.05 percent takes a little bit of time for the uh, sensor to to warm up i guess is what happens inside there we go and then you blow into it uh, for a while According to this, you exhale into the exhale pipe. Right. And because I haven't been drinking yet, it still shows just the ready light lit. If I had been drinking, it would show either the 0.02% blood alcohol or the 0.05% blood alcohol or both of them if you're over. So as we saw, this thing didn't detect any alcohol in my breath um it occurred to me while i was th researching this a little bit not much i tend to go into these things kind of unprepared but it occurred to me that i do have an arduino module that can detect alcohol specifically this little mq3 module right here and i've got it rigged up on a breadboard with a circuit that i found online and some code that i found online uh, which I took a few logic errors out of so that it would compile and work on here. So I'm going to use a straw to blow into this thing just so that my head's not in the way. But basically, you press the button and blow into the thing. And it says that I am sober with a count of 43 arbitrary units. Basically, this thing puts out an analog voltage between 0 and 5 volts, and the Arduino is doing a little bit of math on it to come up with that number. So now, I have to take one for the team. Excuse me one moment. Uh. Yeah. The name Screech comes from the effect that it has on you. Um, so I'm going to start a timer over there, just running from when I took that drink. And we'll see how long things take. Oh, come on, don't dim the screen. Two very boring minutes later. So now that about two minutes has expired after I took that drink, I should have a fair bit of alcohol in my mouth still. Um, I'm going to rerun this test and see what happens. You see the number's gone up a fair bit. Let's try this one too. Okay, it says it's ready. Hmm. Oh, wait. There, it uh, has detected that I have been drinking. Okay. Ooh, it's flickering right to the top. And I guess that makes sense. Because, like I said, that alcohol will mostly still be in my saliva, in my mouth. And it won't have had time to work its way into my, uh, into my lungs yet to be detected properly. So while we're waiting, let's take this thing apart. I can see there's a screw in there and in there and in there holding the case together. It's kind of mushy to get out of there too. 
Okay. So that should theoretically come apart. Oh, that was pretty easy. Oh, we have more screws holding it into the case. Fine, be like that. So on this side, we have a little piezo buzzer. Um, there is that display screen for the timer, and it's got a little zebra stripe there. And then some push buttons to go down onto the little tactile dome things here. So there is the power button, and there is the three clock switches, and the three LEDs. We have a blobby chip. Of course we do. Um, we have a, is that a capacitor down there. It's to smooth out the noises going to the beeper. And we have one actual chip that we can look at. LM324. I thought that sounded familiar. That's a quad op amp. Okay. So I'm guessing that is just amplifying the signal from the sensor or possibly acting as comparators to drive those LEDs at their various different levels. Or maybe a bit of both. So I'm wondering if that diode is acting as a voltage reference to allow that guy to find some thresholds for these LEDs. Maybe working with some of those resistors, it's possible. If that's the case, then this blob is probably just the clock and looking at the traces, can you see them there? So many of the traces from that blob are going over to the zebra stripe uh, pads. And on the back side, there is this crystal which is over here, which seems to have tracks that go down as well to that. So I'm wondering if there's like three separate circuits in here. There's this switch here, which turns the LED on. There's this blob doing the clock functions. And then just this quad op amp taking the voltage from the alcohol sensor and using it as a comparator to drive these guys. And it's entirely possible that that sensor there is internally very similar to this sensor here, probably even the same. I'm gonna put this guy back together and hopefully by about 15 minutes, I'll have it together and I'll be able to take another reading and just see where I'm at. This would probably be easier to do if I hadn't had a big shot of rum. Oh well. A little later. There we go. I mostly got it together. White still works. Clock still works. Warm it up here. 15 minutes exactly. Woohoo! What does it say? It's not sure. It's not really doing anything. Did I break it? I don't know. Well, let's try this other guy then. It thinks I'm sober. Weird. Obviously I'm not, because 16 minutes ago I guzzled down an ounce and three quarters of rum. Hmm. I'm going to try this one more time. Just get my head right in there. Hmm. So the number's higher. 200 is where this thing thresholds in the software to uh, show that I've been drinking. So, hmm. Let's go and take a look and see if we can figure out how these sensors actually do what they do. There's a few different articles about using these thing, these sensors with Arduino. Here's one that I found that goes into a little bit of detail. It shows the little breakout board that it's on. I am connected to the analog output, which sends a voltage between 0 and 5 volts proportional, theoretically, to the amount of uh, alcohol vapor that this guy sees coming in its front. So internally hiding behind that stainless steel grill on the front, which I assume is just there to protect it, there is this little six pin sensing element. This guy describes it as being a highly accurate sensor that's actually calibrated to give you a good detection of parts per million of alcohol present in the environment. But according to the data sheet, it requires a 48 hour preheat. One that I've got sitting on my circuit board here on my breadboard has been powered on for about, uh, about half an hour before I started the video. So 45 minutes now. So it's not at its most accurate yet, but I've noticed that it's clean air measurement 
has been getting lower as time goes on. When I first powered it on, it was showing 300 to 400 counts. Uh, right now in clean air, it's showing in the two digit, in the low two digit number. The other thing this breakout board can do, it has a little comparator on it and a potentiometer. So you can set a threshold and it has a digital output, which is just triggered, triggered by that uh, comparator. So here's the chart of sensitivities for various different, uh, chemicals that this thing can sense in the air or vapors, I guess, for clean air. It's just this flat line at the top here. And here is the slope for alcohol or the, the uh, chart for alcohol. Just for completeness, might as well look at the data sheet for the actual sensing device. I'm going to assume that this MQ3 sensor that I've got uh, tied to the Arduino is going to be mechanically and chemically internally very similar to the one that's in that cheap handheld unit. So it runs on five volts. The heater is 33 ohms, 750 milliwatts at five volts. The device itself, the sensing element, changes its resistance based on the amount of alcohol that it is sensing in the air between one meg and eight megs. And then if you build that into a voltage divider circuit like this, this particular one has a calibration resistor, but that's just a resistor. So that resistor divided by this resistor with the voltage passing through the device will give you your measurement voltage output. And I'm wondering at that level of resistance, is the input impedance to the uh, Arduino maybe messing with it a little bit? I'm not sure. You know, here is the chemistry involved in the various metallic elements in the sensor itself. Anti-explosion network. Uh, okay. Oh, well, that's just the screen on the front. Right. It's a 100 mesh screen. Sure. So there's not that much detail in this data sheet. It talks about this aluminum oxide ceramic tube and tin dioxide uh, sensitivity layer being used as an as the measuring electrodes and that's about it 25 minutes have elapsed since i took that drink let's give this thing a whirl huh I'm not sure if this is faulty or if I'm not as drunk as I feel, but I should be. I mean, you saw what happened there. And we'll try this guy one more time because that's really why we're here anyway. Now that's only taken about five to 10 seconds to warm up. And for some reason it's detecting a high level already. Maybe it's just smelling my hand. I don't know. Huh? Don't trust it. It's an interesting novelty, but it's kind of useless for its stated purpose. That's probably the most useful function on it right there. Anyway, that was interesting, I guess. Uh, it was not as useful as I thought it would be, but kind of a neat little toy to play with anyways. And another version if you want to uh, experiment on your own. Thanks for watching. Um, questions and comments down below as usual. I'll talk to you later.